Very good evening, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well. And welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. Um, if you refer to my last week uh, forex analysis, uh, the Euro USD has reversed exactly uh, at the point where I mentioned. I said that we can expect a, expect a reversal right on this level here on 1.1074, and we can expect the pair to go a little bit down more to this uh, previous support here on 1.0931 1 uh, and that is exactly what happened and the pair kept moving here and it actually uh, broken out from this uh, resistance level which I have mentioned and, and it just continue the bullish momentum so what's happening now to the euro USD well uh, if we go now to the daily candles we can notice that this movement Sorry, the bullish momentum on the Euro USD is really strong, and I'm expecting for the Euro USD to actually continue this momentum all the way until it hit this resistance. Uh, let me just uh, make it more accurate. Uh, this resistance on uh, 1.12140. So on Monday morning, we have to wait for the to the Euro USD. To rise more up, uh, let, let's say about 47 pips until it hit this resistance, and I believe this is gonna be our best chance to start selling the Euro USD. Uh, let me just mention it here. Uh, I find this is actually a much better way, so we can mention the price 1.12140 uh, sell. It's better, guys, right? Okay, so we can start selling the Euro USD right on this level because. If we are following the chart, we can see that this level here, 1.12140, it was a strong level as a support in the past, right here, with many attempts. Then after the breaking out, and remember, uh, remember we are on the daily candles, it was also a strong resistance as well, and again a previous support, and now it become a new resistance level uh, with attempt number one, and we can look for the sell on the resistance number two. And in general, I believe that the, uh, the Euro USD is actually reversing at this point here, and it's not gonna keep it for a long time. There is a reason for that. We can actually draw a trend line here. If we draw a trend line like that, we can expect for the Euro USD. We can see that we had here a fake break out from this trend line, and then the pair just continued reversing on these trend lines resistance levels. So that means that when the euro is reversing on this level 1.1240, it's gonna go all the way down to retest this trend line before it actually might continue to fly again more up. So in other words, euro USD should be good to start sell at this level, and let me suggest for you uh, where you should actually stop uh, your trade or actually stop the sell order right on this level and let's write it here um, 1.10846 take profit so this is gonna be our take profit and actually the pair might be going a little bit uh, down below this take profit and then it will reverse but to be safe I think this will be a good idea to keep this take profit the reason again is we are expecting for the euro USD to rise more up hitting this previous resistance right here and then retest this broken trend line uh, reversing on this previous support right here because uh, they are matching actually they are matching with the trend line along with the previous support level and then we can expect for the pair to continue rising uh, why did i mention that there is a possibility for it to go more down because actually we have the the lowest level of the support actually right here right here let me just be more accurate as much as possible exactly like that so this is the lowest level of this previous support that's why i said we can expect for it to go more down so if we sell here the pair might actually move like that exactly like this yes like that and then it's gonna continue its bullish momentum so again that is my expectation for the euro, for the euro usd now to the pound of course i'm not crazy to give you any analysis on the pound because the pound right now is moving based on uh, the brexit news it's really really dangerous to start selling or buying the pound at the moment 
because today I think there will be the very major and uh, critical vote for uh, Brexit deal if they are going to exit uh, from the EU at the end of October or not what will gonna happen we don't know we have to wait for this vote anyway uh, the pound is now very very dangerous to be traded and I highly recommend everyone don't follow to this don't follow uh, this path don't fall to this trap and don't try to try to trade the pound at the moment because it's so risky it's just keep jumping up and down based on these Brexit uh, uh, oncoming news they are not stopping so anyway therefore I'm not going to give you this week any analysis for the pound and let's jump directly to the AUD USD so AUD USD uh, I need to check what was the prediction last week just hold on guys one second so yeah I was checking my last week's signal and it was accurate as well because I mentioned that the pair should be good to start buying on 0 0.67409 which is this blue line here and I said that we can we have to wait for the market to go down all the way to this level here and then from this point because we can see here we had the previous support we can start buying AUD USD and the pair just went against our the, our uh, prediction for about I think 17 18 yeah almost 18 pips before it starts shooting up more and hitting our target which was actually right here so this signal has given about uh, 90 pips for those who have entered it it was a good signal and that was really uh, accurate anyway what is the next movement I believe the AUD USD is gonna continue its bullish momentum and we have to wait for it to actually reverse because we can see it right now on the four hour candles it's approaching a previous resistance before we can, we can see it here right here we had a resistance right here also we have this resistance and which uh, this resistance levels has become also a strong support and here again we have the resistance attempt number one and we are approaching exactly the resistance number two that is not two <laughs> oh, okay that is two now do you, you can ask me is it good then uh, is it a good idea then to start selling the AUD USD hmm. the answer is no don't sell the AUD USD at the moment the reason is we don't know what will gonna happen we have to predict that the pair will reverse on this resistance level we need to be sure that it will reverse and then it will be much better idea to start buying the AUD USD right on this level of the previous support because it seems like it's gonna continue its bullish momentum all the way until it hit the top of this previous resistance so selling the AUD USD is not really smart in my opinion we have to wait for it to reach this this level of the support let me just uh, mention it for you so AUD USD should be go uh, good to start buying on 0 0.68330 buy that is our buy level for the AUD USD and again the reason my friends is the pair is gonna bounce or is supposed to be bouncing on this resistance level so we can expect it to go down here uh, because we can see here that we had also a previous resistance which was also a previous support level not only that but check it out also in the past the same level was also a strong support so this level is as strong as a support and I believe we can expect for the pair um, let me switch to the daily candles so we can see it definitely yes I think it will gonna continue rising all the way up until it hit the top of this resistance level uh, let me just mention it here for you on 0 0.68920 take profit just like that it's not much I think about 60 pips and hopefully we will we will get them all uh, we have to keep in mind that looking at the daily candles uh, this level is actually good as a support level but we can expect for the pair to go down a little bit um, to this previous resistance right here there is a chance that we can see our, a small wick on the daily candle or actually a small tail that will go down to touch the support level uh, this uh, previous resistance level sorry before it actually uh, uh, starting to go more up and hit this previous resistance so be ready and expect for it to go just 20 24 pips against our direction now let's check the USD cat 
Now the USD CAD as well has moved exactly as I predicted because I told you that we need to sell the USD CAD immediately since it's uh, reversing right on the top of this resistance and we can see we had this resistance zone here and the pair last week closed right on this level and I told you let's sell the USD CAD immediately and the take profit was actually right here and I mentioned that we can wait for the pair to actually reach this point so however that was good po good signal it was on point and has get, uh, provided about 200 pips for those who have entered it anyway what will gonna happen next well looking at the candles now we can see that this bullish uh, sorry bearish momentum is really strong even this reversal attempt on the support level it was actually so weak the pair could not bear to broke from the, uh, to break out from this previous resistance or previous support right here so what I'm trying to tell you is the pair reversed on this previous support here then made this small pullback trying to break out from this resistance but it actually failed and we can see the strong reversal here uh, leading the USD CAD to actually fall more so what we can expect now from the USD CAD is actually a little bit more to fall uh, in, uh, below this resist uh, below this support level so let me just mark the support level it's like that and I believe our key support level is gonna be right here so we can expect for the USD CAD to actually continue falling down until the level let me just mention it 1.30675 should be the good signal to start buying the USD CAD at this point right here uh, the reason my friends is again we can see that this level was a key support level uh, on 1.30675 and it was also a strong support level and again it was a very strong resistance level and even in the past uh, more than a year ago on June 2018 it was a strong support so this level cannot be underestimated we cannot ignore the strength or the power of this level also here we can see now what do you see here this is a question to you what do you see here what you are seeing is as so many attempts for the pair to break out from the support level this is not a fake breakout this is actually so many attempts for the market to go below the support level and it faced a, a huge failure which ended by the bulls controlling the market and they went more up and even when they went down to retest the previous uh, resistance level the market bounced up again so for what i'm seeing here is a huge or actually a massive attempt from the from the sellers to take the market down below the support level but they have failed that's why I believe this is a very strong level as a support and we can start buying the pair right on this level now the question is when should I close my trade uh, the, action, the answer is you can close your trade right on the current uh, resistance level which is right here so if we buy the USD CAD from this level 1.30578 uh, we can close our trade after almost 75 pips on the resistance level uh, 1.31400 that should be our take profit level and I believe uh, we can uh, start again selling the USD CAD when it reaches this level but I don't want to recommend that at, at the moment we have to wait to see the price action but for the meantime I recommend to start buying the USD CAD on this support level now let's check the USD GPY so sorry so the USD GPY has reversed at this resistance level we can see right here that this resistance has faced so many attempts we have one two three and finally four attempts on this resistance level so what is the next movement uh, we can do a small analysis here using the trend lines if we draw the trend line from this uh, resistance levels like that what we can see is that the pair has actually on daily candles remember I'm on the daily candles the, the pair they broke it broke from this uh, previous resistance uh, resistance trend line I mean reversing on this resistance and now is gonna actually go down to retest this previous resistance and hopefully if the retest uh, worked it's actually gonna reverse and go more up 
So now the question is, how can we know that the pair is going to reverse on this resistance trend line or not? How can we tell if the retest is going to work or not? We just need to look at the left and find a strong support level that we can rely our analysis to. So looking here at the left, um, what we can see here, right here. So this mark, this level here on 108, let me just mark it. Um, 108.040 is actually a strong support level because we can see that we had the market reversed right on this level here and right here and right here let me zoom in for those who cannot see it so we can see this support level reverse right on this level here and right here and the very same level of the support and resistance it became also a strong a strong resistance not only that but on daily candles we can see that here this small tail here this small pin bar is indicating oh sorry a small reversed hammer indicating a support number one so we can expect for the USDGPY to fall a little bit more down to actually first of all attempt uh, creating the attempt number two of the support level and number two is gonna retest this uh, broken trend line of the resistance after that it's gonna be a good idea to actually start buying the USDGPY and hopefully it will fly all the way up until it hit this level of the resistance right here uh, I believe this is what will gonna happen uh, the reason is because we can see here a reversed head and shoulders on the USDGPY and the expected movement from the USDGPY is gonna continue its bullish momentum all the way until hitting this previous resistance and then it will fall down to hit this previous support before it actually continue rising more up hitting the next resistance that is your analysis for the next month <laughs> so anyway uh, let me just uh, again mark it here USDGPY is good to start buying on 108.040 and we can keep our trade running until it hit let me let me just be safe here um i will just mark this level right here so this is your take profit it's gonna be take profit it's gonna be 109.729 that is not oh shit sorry my apologize it is should be should be here so take profit will be 108 Point, sorry 109.729 so this is guys our tech profit and hopefully if we get it we will be down to 165 pips of profit hopefully we are gonna get them all now let's check the USDCHF all right so the USDCHF has also reversed right where I, where I said uh, that we can start selling it immediately and it reversed right on this uh, so many attempts of the resistance that was good and it failed it failed to break out from this resistance and just continue to go more down and yeah i believe that was a good signal from the last week it provided about 140 pips profit for those who have entered it so now what is the next movement uh, i believe the usdgpy if we look at the weekly candle right now so looking at the weekly candles we can tell that it actually has no hope for any bullish reversal at the moment i believe it's going to continue its bearish momentum so now the question is where should i start selling the usd cad i believe it's going to be a good idea to start selling the usd cad right on this level right here now what is the reason now we can see the usd cad is actually closed friday night on a support level of 0.98431 looking at the past the same level of the support was actually a strong resistance and also was a strong support right here and here and here so this level cannot be underestimated i believe this is gonna be a good level for the pullback the usd cad might be actually reversing a little bit retesting this broken support level and if that if the test of or, uh, sorry if the retest failed is gonna continue its bearish momentum all the way Mm, let me just tell you something not all the way here let me just uh, uh, rephrase that again 
Hmm. Seeing this level, let me tell you something. I'm just analyzing right now in front of you, actually, guys. I didn't analyze before. So, yes, I believe this is going to be a good level. So, yes, this is weekly candle. Go back to the daily candle. So, USD CAD, sorry, USD CHF is good to start selling at the level of um, 0.98653. Should be, what is this? Should be good to start. Sorry, guys, because I'm not used to, sell, to use this one, this one actually. So, yeah, this is a good level to start selling the USD CAD, and our take profit is gonna be this level of the previous support on 0 0.97843. Now, let me just tell you something why did I select this level to be our take profit? Now, the answer is if we go to the daily candles, we can see that we had a previous resistance here and a previous support, and the most importantly, this key support level this is what I'm relying on this is very strong uh, this cannot be ignored because this is where actually the pair if you check the history guys always to know what will gonna happen in the future you have to always rely on the history so let's see when the pair has reached this previous support level what happened is made a strong bounce and again when it reached the support level it made a strong bounce and here again it reached the support level again strong bounce even here a fake breakout ended by a strong bounce so this level of the support cannot be ignored and we cannot underestimate it at all so what I'm, I'm actually uh, advising you to do is just respect the past and do the same when you see the pair reaching this level close your trade because most likely what's gonna happen is the pair is actually gonna bounce and go up so the history is gonna repeat itself that is to be safe that's why I'm telling you the pair now is safe to be sold or to be sell at the level of 0 0.98653 but then exit your trade at the level 0 0.97843 because we cannot expect what will gonna happen uh, we have to see the price action but most likely the USD, the USDC shift was, um, is going to actually bounce and fly up uh, uh, upon approaching the support level. Now let's check the gold. The gold signal was also very good last week because I mentioned that we should start selling the gold exactly at the level 1496. That is exactly what happened and the pair has exactly respected this level and the, the signal was very profitable for those who have entered it and yeah the target has almost been uh, reached by almost 200 pips of profit that was really nice so the question is now what will gonna happen next what i'm seeing is gonna happen um the pair is gonna continue ranging at this and this uh, at this level at this level because now what we can see is ranging market this is ranging market right now and the gold is actually stuck in this level we can see here bouncing here and there like that so actually the pair is stuck at this level and it's really hard to predict how the the gold is gonna move for the next week let's go to the daily candles now on daily candles it actually looks worse because we are now uh, we are stuck on this support level right here and also we are stuck on this previous resistance so what is the next movement all I can tell you is wait for the gold if we are lucky enough uh, we can start buying the gold at the lowest level of the support level uh, let me just be more accurate uh, I just want to be sure because actually the gold is very sensitive uh, a small reversal can means a lot actually of money so just to be safe my friends this is the level where I recommend you to start buying the gold because we can see that we had here a previous resistance and here as well uh, let me explain to you something what we are seeing now in the gold that the pair is actually is, uh, made so many attempts of the resistance right here right here and here and here so in total it made four attempts to break from this from this resistance and 
I not I wanted to notice something to uh, how to read the candles. Not, let's let's talk about something that we didn't talk about, which is reading the candles. Maybe we should make some video about that. We can tell that the bullish momentum here is very weak by seeing these candles. Look at the bullish momentum. How many green candles do we see? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight candles. It took eight candles for the gold just to reach this resistance level. Then what happened? Boom! Only two candles to go down all the way to the, to the starting point for these candles. So the point I'm trying to tell you here is we started climbing very slowly for the use for the gold and then in just two candles all this progress has been wiped out by this strong bearish momentum from that movement or from reading these candles you can tell that the winning here or the winners is the sellers the bears they are the one who is winning this battle check the history always we have this uh, movement happen look how many candles we needed to go from this uh, let me just rephrase that um, from this support level to rise up to this uh, resistance level how many how many green candles we needed we needed one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven candles just to reach this level of the resistance and then boom in one candle has wiped out all this progress of these candles that is one way that we can read the candles and we can tell that uh, the bearish momentum is actually the one controlling the market right, uh, right now so what we can see right here is another bearish breakout candle breaking from this uh, previous support and the market is now going up to retest this previous resistance so in general the gold right now is at a resistance level so what I'm advising is we can sell the gold actually uh, let me just be more accurate my friends let me go back to the daily candles actually it's, it's gonna be a little bit late let me just tell you something uh, it might be a little bit late uh, we'll go to the weekly candle so we can see it more in action and still we cannot see it clearly because the market as I told you is way too much ranging at this point here but again I'm telling uh, the winning one is the bearish or the bears they are winning this battle let me tell you something I believe that is correct yes because let's check the history this level here was very strong as a support and also strong as a resistance level the market could not pre, uh, reach this level it could not, could not break out from the support level uh, resistance level so the gold should be really good to start selling again we're almost repeating the last signal from the last week uh, to be sell at the level 1495 and that should be actually good level to start selling the gold now what do I suggest is to keep the gold at the sell point until it reach this support level right here because actually if the pair continue moving all the way down to this support level we cannot expect what will gonna happen but most likely I think the pair will go up at this point at some point the gold should reach this previous resistance right here at some point but from what I can see in these candles with this this one and this one and this one and this one I don't think the pair on this one of course I don't think the pair now is able to break out from this resistance and the bearish momentum is the one controlling therefore we can start selling the gold right on this level uh, if we had a small pullback or, or actually if we had one last attempt to break this resistance we can start entering selling the gold and hopefully we will get all these pips uh, until the level 1477 so guys that was my analysis for this week I really wish and hope it will be accurate as the last week did and hopefully it will be very profitable for everyone and in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.